All right, guys. So uh, this is a second video that I'm making um, in regards to custom formula fields. <clears throat> this video is really for uh, novice to intermediate administrators uh, or users who are um, just looking to get more familiar with creating formula fields. So I'm going to create this formula field on the opportunity record. Um, I recommend you watching uh, the Salesforce uh, custom formula field, custom currency formula field video, um, if you haven't seen that yet. Um, or if you get lost anywhere in this video, that's probably a pretty good prerequisite. Um, just because I go into a little bit more detail there um, about how to actually create the field and how to get to the objects and things like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm on the opportunity object and I'm going to create a new field. We are going to create a text field today. It's going to be a formula text field though. So um, we're going to choose a formula field. All right, we'll choose next. And let's name this practice text formula field here. And as I said, it's going to be a text field. We want text values to come into this field. Otherwise, um, you can see percent number, date, time, date, currency, checkbox. Uh, those are, you have to build the formulas surrounding the type of formula field you want it to be. So I'm going to build a text field here because I want text to go into the field. So let's go ahead and get started building this formula. Um, if you aren't familiar with the formula editors, like I said, watch the other video first uh, about the currency field, but I'll go over it in brief detail. If you want to insert a field, you can see that the object we're on is the opportunity. Um, and you can see all related opportunity fields here. That's every opportunity field on the opportunity. You can also dig into the account or other related objects um, by clicking on fields with the little uh, greater than sign here. Um, and you can dig into other fields there. Operators, we can insert operators. These are basically our logical expressions here. They uh, are greater than, less than, equal, our mathematical formulas here, and or statements. Um, so these are great little shortcuts in the wizard. Um, if you're not familiar with these symbols, then these are uh, great shortcuts to use. And then more complicated over here, we have our functions. Um, these are the real power of formula fields. I'm not going to get into too many of these today, but I will show a few basic examples um, of formulas that we use and why they're useful. So I've already got um, a couple of formulas built out here that I want to show examples of. And I'm going to paste them in, but I will explain exactly how they work and what they do. So um, again, just like the other video, we are, we are starting with an if statement. So let me bring an if statement in here. And just like the other video, we have, I'll just capitalize this because I'm OCD. So um, if logical test is our first thing. So before our first comma, we have our logical test. And our logical test here is the amount is greater than zero. So this is truly the amount filled um, that we could bring in by going to insert filled and amount. So that is the amount filled. Um, amount is greater than, you can see we have our operator here, our greater than operator. Amount is greater than zero. And text has to be uh, kept in quotation marks. If you want a text output for the field, you need to put it in quotation marks. That's what indicates to the formula that this is truly text and you're not trying to write out a field name or a function or anything like that. So this is our text. So if amount is greater than zero, this field will say, let's make some money. Then we have our comma. So if it's true, it will say, let's make some money. Then we have our comma that separates it from the value of false, comma. If it is false, meaning that amount is less than zero, it will say that won't pay the rent uh, because obviously amount less than zero is not gonna pay the rent. All right, so I'm gonna save this field off and we will see if it works. So I'm going to make it visible to all profiles. I'm going to make it show up on all page layouts. And let's save the field. So I'm going to switch tabs here over to an opportunity record. 
Um, if you watch the old video, you'll recognize this practice currency formula field, which again, I, I recommend watching that video first. Um, I'm going to refresh this page and we should see our new practice text field show up. All right, so practice text field. It says, let's make some money because the amount is greater than zero. Um, just to prove that I'm not making things up and it really does work, um, I'm going to make it zero. Zero is not greater than zero for you who struggle with math out there. Um, so now we have that won't pay the rent. So our formula works and it outputs a text. Um, so we have succeeded. Um, obviously, that's not the best. Um, you're, you're probably not going to copy and paste my formula I just made into your own Salesforce instance because it's not all that useful in a real world scenario. But um, if you use your imagination, I'm sure you can see how scenarios like this could be useful. Um, where we could say the amount is greater than, than zero, therefore um, let's fill this value in with something that you know maybe people do would want to see or a text that would be valuable. Um, and it doesn't have to be based on the amount field. It can be based on any field. So um, this is just a basic text field. So what I want to show you is we can is how we can get just a little bit more complicated. And I'll show you the progression here. And we can say what we're doing is this is going to do the exact same thing as the previous expression, except for we're adding in a little bit here. So we're going to say, remember, um, this comma in our if statement will separate. This is the true. If it's true, that's what it'll say. Let's make some money. If it's false, it'll say that I won't pay the rent. So before that starts, we have our logical formula. And this is our logical formula. It says, it starts with and, which is one of our functions. And we say, we can say two statements here. And if we say and, both of those statements have to be true. So, as opposed to, we could use or here, and that means that only one of the statements have to be true. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So, this says the amount is greater than zero, and the probability is greater than 0.55, which is 55%, again, for you guys who struggle with math. So, we, in this scenario, and I'm going to go ahead and delete out this top field. I just kind of wanted to show you the progression there, or the top statement. Um, so now we have the amount has to be greater than zero and the probability has to be greater than 0.55. And if that's true, it'll say, let's make some money. And if it's not true, it'll say that won't pay the rent. Um, let's throw in some exclamation points here for enthusiasm. So let me save this and we'll take a look and see if it worked. So I'm going to hop over to our opportunity record now and we need to refresh this page. And now it says that won't pay the rent exclamation points. So it's greater than it's not greater than zero, but it is greater than 90 per it is greater than 55% uh, here. So you can see it has to be and. So let's make this greater than zero. Let's just make it one. It's a dollar. All of a sudden, let's make some money because we're at greater than zero and we're at better than 55%. Just to prove that it works both ways, let's bring this down to less than 55%. You can see here we're at 50% now. Let's save this off and hopefully it'll say that won't pay the rent. There we go. So that won't pay the rent we have down here. So that's perfect. So it, it works just the way we designed it, um, which, is, which is great. Um, so let's hop back over to our formula field and I'll show you one more progression. Um, and then we'll decide that we're kind of done with the basics here. So, as promised, here is our OR statement. So we have IF OR, and we kept our AND. So this is getting a little bit more complicated now. It might be worth pausing the video and kind of rewinding and taking a look if you're new to formula fields. So what we're going to say is, first let's let's show what we need to look at. So here's our false statement. That won't pay the rent. If it's if our statement is false, it will say that won't pay the rent. If our statement is true, it will say let's make some money. Then before that is our entire statement, right? Okay, so let's look at what we have here. What the and 
so so let's so let's look at this. Let's break this down. So we have our original formula here, and the amount is greater than zero, and the probability is greater than fifty-five percent. Okay. Then we have another formula here that's very similar to the first one, but it says, and the amount is greater than 1,000, and the probability is greater than 25%. So effectively, we're saying here, if it's worth $1,000 at 25%, we still are saying, let's make some money. If it is greater than zero, we want it to be at at least 55% to think we're going to make some money. So... This or statement comes into play at this point. We have these, this and statement, and we have this and statement. We are saying or, so we said or this and statement, comma, this and statement. So this comma here separates what our or is looking at. It's What it's saying is I only need one of these two things to be true. I either need this to be true, or I need this to be true in order to say, let's make some money. If both of these statements above are false, then I'm gonna say that won't pay the rent. So let's get rid of our original and get down to what we have now. And I'm gonna save this and we'll do a little testing. All right, so let me make sure that's saved. Okay, um, so let's get back over to our record and we'll refresh. All right, so here we have. All right, so let, let me settle this out. So if we're at 25%, anything less than, I think I said 25%. Yep, that's right, 25%. So we're at 10%, okay? And this is worth $1,001, which is greater than 1,000. Let's save that. We are at 10% at $1,001. That won't pay the rent, is what we've said. What we said is we need to be above 25%. So let's get it above 25%. So that's 20, let's see, that's 60. Got anything in between? I'm gonna go with 50, there we go, 50. So we're at 50% and it's worth $1,000. So it says let's make some money which applies directly to our part of the formula that says we are above $1,000 and above 25%. True, let's make some money. Now I want to show you on the record that if we take this below 1,000, let's bring it to 100, we're still at 50%, the only thing's changing the amount. That won't pay the rent because what's happened here, going back to our formula, is we are now not greater than 1,000, but we do have a probability. So now I'm going to show you that this still holds true. I'm going to up the probability. So let's come over here and say, let's get it up to, we're not at over $1,000, but you know what? We are at over 55% now. So if we save it, this will update to let's make some money. So now we have let's make some money. So it's showing that either statement, if either statement works, it works. Um, so I think we've kind of proofed out this formula. You've gotten a good example of and statements, or statements, if statements. Um, and that's really the basic of formulas and how you'll use them in Salesforce. Um, if you guys have any questions about use cases, you know, shoot me a comment or a message and say, hey, this is what I'm trying to get done and it should be easy, but I'm kind of struggling with it. Can you help? I will be glad to help. Um, now, I'm not going to sit with you and do your projects and get on calls with you and all that kind of stuff. But um, if you have quick questions that I can answer, then I will be glad to answer them for you. If you have video requests, feel free to let me know what you would like to see, um, and I will make that happen. Um, I hope you enjoy, and good luck learning to do formula fields.